This is James from Gamefront with a Far Cry 3 PC tweak guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of some of that clutter and those sound effects that keep us from fully immersing ourselves into the Far Cry 3 world. The first thing you're going to need to do is download a hex editor. In the description, there'll be a link for one that you can get for free. I don't know if there's better ones out there. I'm pretty new to this still myself. So assuming that you have a hex editor, that's the first thing we're going to do is start by opening that up. I'm using HXD, which is what's linked below. Uh, then we're going to go to File, Open, and then Program Files, 86, and then we're going to look for Steam and open that folder up. Once we're there, we're going to look for Steam Apps and then Common, and then we're going to look for Far Cry 3, and then the bin. And this is basically the file path you need to find. Now, I want to show you that I have a backup. Make sure you make a backup, because if you mess it up and something doesn't work, you'll otherwise have to reinstall the entire thing. Now, we're going to go back to the bin folder and open up the file fc3 underscore d3 d11.dll. If you're using DirectX 11, this is the file you need to open. If you're using 9 or 10, you're going to have to open the file fc3.dll. Now that the file is open, you're going to want to go to search and type in show UI element. There's going to be no spaces in that. Once you click OK, it's going to bring you to where this is found in the file. You'll notice that underneath it says hide UI element, but it's broken up with periods. And then beneath that, it's going to say show UI elements, also broken up with periods. You're going to change show to hide. Make sure that you make the H capital because it is case sensitive. Once you've made these changes, you can go up to File and click Save. After it's saved, you'll be ready to run Far Cry 3. Upon loading it up, you'll notice some differences. You have no UI. There's no radar, there's no compass, there's no prompts when you walk up to a memory card or a door. All of that is missing. It should go without saying that if you're not really familiar with Far Cry 3's world and interface, then you're not ready for this, because you're not going to be given any prompts. You'll need to know the exact distance away from an animal to skin them. Any waypoints you put on the map will not show up in screen. And you will also not be spoon-fed messages that a quest or mission has begun. So you have to pay attention to what you're listening to. Which is a good transition to the next part of the video where I show you how you can eliminate some of those intrusive sounds in Far Cry 3. We've already opened our hex editor and for practice I'm going to show the file path again of how to find the DLL file. From the C drive we're going to select Program Files x86. Then we're going to look for Steam. And after opening that we're going to find Steam Apps. Inside of there we're going to open up Common Files. And then Far Cry 3 and then bin. As a reminder, I hope we've all made a backup of our DLL file. It would be a bummer to have to completely re-download and install this game. But since we already have it, we're just going to open up our file. From there, we're going to hit Control F so that we can search. And I'm, I'm actually copying Cancel Mission. And then we're going to hit Control F or just select Search from the top, which it looks like I'm doing and we're going to paste that in. Cancel Mission will bring us to the top of these this style of sounds that we see. So we're going to want to highlight SND before it and the entire Cancel Mission and right click over the numbers that are highlighted and fill those in with zeros. You'll notice it's red until you save it. Once you save it, you can't undo your things. So then we're going to look at the um, we're going to copy and paste the next thing in there, which is the armor tutorial. And we can copy this and turn it into zeros. But then we can also notice that sometimes if we don't really want to look for each individual sound effect that plays, we can also select an entire row. As long as we're not deleting anything that's already a zero and replacing it with a zero, it's okay. So what we're doing is we're just going to keep looking down and make sure that these are all things that we want to replace. And it's okay to make the, the ones that are already zeros new zeros because it's not changing anything. Of course, if there's some sound effects that you either like or you find useful, you don't have to change those. So you'll stop at that point and fill what's selected in with zeros. Now you can spend as much time as you want on the editor changing the different sounds. When you're ready, you're going to click File and then Save. You'll know it's been saved when all the red text turns black. Now we're going to take a look at the three different versions. First with HUD, with sound, then no HUD, 
with sound that no HUD, no sound. Into? What have I gotten myself into? What have I gotten myself into? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.